which is my second name, and then O'Brien with an apostrophe. And because those two things are just slightly different, it wasn't accepted. It is Sunday, February 13th, 2022, and on this week's special edition of Bed Time, we're talking about the worst case scenario for traveling during COVID. If you're new here, I'm Morgan from the very unofficial travel guides. I travel all around the world to popular and not so popular tourist destinations to give you a very honest, unofficial look at what it was like to be there. And I also wrote a book called Getting Stitches on a Cruise Ship. It's available on Amazon now. I am not in front of the red sofa. As you can see, I am still here in my cabin on the Costa Luminosa. This is it. I'm really here. It's Sunday today, my last day on this ship. I will be disembarking in Barcelona tomorrow and flying back home to Hamburg, and I am so excited. That doesn't mean that I didn't enjoy this cruise, but I don't know, for some reason, I'm just really excited to get home this time. Marcus sent me this picture yesterday. And I just wanna go home and cuddle with my kitty and cuddle with my Marcus and sit on my own couch. But I'm sure as soon as I get there, I'm gonna miss being here. You know how it is. We've all gone through the different levels of stress and uncomfortable situations over the past two and a half years in relation to this pandemic that we're all getting through. And I know some people have had some really tough times. Some people have lost loved ones, lost friends, colleagues, things like that. Uh, I'm gonna try to steer away from that subject in this video, but I didn't want to not mention it. So if this video seems kind of light in a way, that doesn't mean that I don't know that people really, really suffered over the last couple of years, okay? I just wanna get that out of the way. And one of the things that I'm recently realizing I'm taking with me out of this period is I have developed some kind of anxiety in a way, or I guess I've just become really good at getting myself worked up about things. The first thing I noticed was when I was skiing just a couple weeks ago, I uploaded this video of skiing up on the glacier where I took the, the world record gondola down 10,000 feet to the valley and I had like this weird, uh, I can only describe it as a panic attack while I was waiting to board the gondola and ride back down into the valley. Uh, a lot of people have been writing to me in the comments about that, also giving advice, also saying you deal with these things too. Thank you for that. And before I left to Barcelona, and then in Barcelona before I got to the ship, and then today as I'm packing up and filling in all the forms and everything I need to fill in to travel back to Germany, I'm starting to feel stressed again. And that's what I wanted to go through, is what I'm going through in my head about, okay, Morgan, what's literally like the worst thing that could happen right now? And like I said, we know dying, that'd be the worst thing. I'm, that's not what I'm talking about. First of all, I thought, well, I could just not be allowed to fly to Barcelona, and then I miss my the one night of hotel and this cruise that I paid for, and I don't get any new video material, and that would be very inconvenient, let's say that. And quite disappointing. But I thought, okay, well, what if I get to Barcelona, and then, because I filled out some form incorrectly, or I forgot something at home, I'm not allowed to board the ship. Or what if for some reason in the cruise port, I test positive for COVID, what happens then? And my fear of testing positive is very low because I just recovered like a month ago. That doesn't mean I couldn't have test positive tested positive, I guess. I was just going through, okay, what's gonna happen? You know, if A, then B. If I don't get to board the cruise, then I can make one video about not getting to board the cruise. And I thought, and then, yeah, if, one, if the reason I don't get to board the cruise is because I forgot some certain form, then my plan was to stay in Barcelona a couple days more and then just fly back to Hamburg. Also disappointing, but hey, I would have got to see a little bit more of Barcelona and I would have got to be in Hamburg for Emma and the cruise boys who are both there today with the Queen Mary. 
it's still so weird and so disappointing to me that they're there in my home city right now and I'm here. So if I tested positive, then I would have then immediately been put into quarantine. And then I thought, okay, well that means spending another 10 days or however long it is in Spain in quarantine until I test negative again. And I would assume that because of my situation of being vaccinated, technically being boosted and being recovered, that they might handle my case differently than others I thought yeah then i stay in a hotel and i have a special covid travel insurance if you're traveling right now and you don't not a good idea and i thought the travel insurance will pay for the hotel i hang out here probably won't get sick sick i just had covid and i stay in some hotel in barcelona not what i was planning on doing but also not horrible one of the more uncomfortable things that I was a little bit worried about is, okay, what if I test positive here on the ship? Then of course I would be, be confined to my cabin until we reach either back to Barcelona or the next possible port where they would get rid of me so I could quarantine wherever that was. And like I said, uh, not necessarily worried about getting sick, but then being in some hotel, some place in here in Marseille, in Palermo, wherever, and not being able to go home for those for those 10 days or however many days it is, and then also having these expenses that hopefully the travel insurance would pay for. And I just finished checking in for my flight to go back home to where I live in Hamburg, Germany, which is here in the EU. And people, this was so complicated. Ugh. I'm so ready for this to be easier and less complicated. Let me go through all the things that I had to upload in order to receive my boarding pass and what I had to do in order to get those things. The first thing I needed to upload was my digital immunization uh, identification card. So in, that's something that you need for travel here anywhere in Europe. And I, my original vaccination was in the United States and my booster was in Germany. So luckily my doctor was able to sort of meld those two together into a European digital immunization thing. But I had to bring him that, I had to bring him this, and then I had to go to the pharmacy and they made the code and then I had to scan the code and put it in the app. And then using the app, I had to export the PDF. So that's the one thing I needed. Then I also needed, there's this traveler's entry form for Germany. I think just about every country in the EU right now has these things. I also had to fill one out coming here to Spain. So I had to also upload my vaccination form and then I had to put in my address and my email and all those things. Then I had to use that system to create a PDF, which I also had to upload to Eurowings, the airline that I'm flying with, which is like a kind of the budget carrier of Lufthansa. And then something didn't go right. And it's because on my Eurowings reservation, my last name is written without an apostrophe. And since I've lived in Germany now for so long, I usually don't write my name with an apostrophe because it's not recognized as a valid letter in the alphabet basically so a lot of times in german automated systems i can't i can't put an apostrophe in there so there's no apostrophe in my name in my eurowings account however on my on my vaccination certificate and my digital uh, entry form my name is written with an apostrophe and my first name was saved as morgan patrick which is my second name and then O'Brien with an apostrophe. And because those two things are just slightly different, it wasn't accepted. So I had to like re-log into my account, change my passenger information, check back into the flight, re-upload the forms, all this just to get a boarding pass. Do you understand now why like the anxiety level is getting higher i mean these are all these are all doable tasks but the amount of steps you have to go through in order to get there just raises the opportunity to make a mistake 
You know what I mean? So now I'm worried that I'll get to the airport tomorrow and have to show the one pass and show my passport and then they also say wait a second this says your name is morgan and this says your name is morgan patrick and this says your name is spelled with an apostrophe but there's no apostrophe here are you an imposter and then what's the worst thing that's going to happen then it takes some time to get that cleared up and then i fly back to hamburg on a later flight maybe i have to stay one more day in barcelona where it's warm ish and sunny it's all not that bad definitely it's all much, much better than, you know, being in the hospital with COVID. I understand that, like I said, I'm trying to put that out to the side. I, I understand that would be the worst thing. And the other thing that makes this stressful is it seems to be different every time. It's not like I'm new to traveling during COVID. How many trips have I been on now? But every time there's something new and different. This here, not so new anymore. Different is I have a situation happening like deep under the skin here. This is some kind of Dr. Pimple Popper thing coming up here. Not sure you can tell, but masks, people, masks. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments below. Like I said, I'm not really that worked up, but I am feeling a certain level of stress just because I don't want to make a mistake. I want this all to go smoothly. I want to get back home to Marcus and Chile, and I don't want to, the end of this cool trip to be tarnished by some kind of stupid mistake or complication. That's what I'm worried about. I'm signing off here. There will be another normal sofa time from in front of the sofa next week, as well as the final skiing video and the first of the videos from here on board the ship. See you soon.